Erica Shannon Turner here. Today we are going to shine a spotlight on a new action kit feature called user updaters. First off, if you haven't yet watched our video on custom user fields, please go do that first. It's a great introduction to why we want to keep our custom user fields up to date. And it's also the general why of this video. Check the description of this video for the link to that video and much more. So you've watched the feature spotlight video on custom user fields, which means that you have created some custom user fields. You've probably also imported historical data that took a long time to calculate. Like for instance, historical donation data across the years, maybe things like how many donations did this user make in calendar year 2020. And you stored all of that custom all of that information into a custom user field using an import. That's great and it works really well for historical data. But user updaters are all about how can we keep this data up to date. Now for a lot of custom user fields you do that once, right? It's a it's a one-time thing. Historical data not going to change months change much. The amount of money someone gave in 2020, that's over and done with. But other custom user fields do need to be updated regularly, especially if they're not historical data, but they're current data. And for these types of fields, like for instance, how much money can someone give this year before they max out? Fields like that need to be kept up to date regularly if they're going to be useful. And yeah, you could run a manual import every single day or every single week to keep that up to date. But these types of manual processes, they're time consuming, they're tedious, they're easy to make mistakes, they're easy to skip or forget to do it. You've got better things to do. And this is where user updaters come in. User updaters keep your custom user fields up to date by running this import for you so you don't have to do it manually. You'll use the same report as you did when you ran your initial custom user field import, and you can choose to run them manually or on a schedule. And if you're thinking, Shannon, I'm sold. How do I do this? Here's how. First, we're going to either create a new report or reuse one that we've already used to import our custom user field information. Next, we need to make sure that our report's column names match our custom user fields. If you've seen our custom user fields video, you've seen how we do this. Third, we need to make sure that we're only including relevant columns in this report. That means one column to identify your user, like user ID or email, and your custom user field columns. Again, this is just like doing an import for your custom user fields because behind the scenes, it is. Here's an example of what that might look like. Here I have a report called User Updater Max Out 2021. And this tells me how much money can this user give before they uh, quote max out for the year. And this is something that candidates and political parties are often interested in. There's limits on how much a person can give in a given year or cycle. And uh, of course, uh, the, the amounts may differ uh, depending on the laws in your area, but lots of clients ask how to set something like this up. So that would be worth giving, giving an example. We've got one column for the user ID, so we know who this is about. And then we have a second column with some custom SQL code. This says 2800 minus, and to be honest, I actually copy pasted the rest of this SQL code that you see here, where it says sum, select sum, core transaction. I actually copied that code from the query builder uh, when I asked it for the total amount of donations made in calendar year 2021. And importantly, I've named this column user max out amount 2021 to match my custom user field. 
Finally, I've got filter criteria limiting this to only give me donors who have given in calendar year 2021. Strictly speaking, you don't need this, but I'm including it because I'm going to assume that if someone doesn't have any value for the field user max out amount 2021, then they haven't given at all. And here are the last four steps. Please be sure that you use the updater report category and then save your report. When your report runs, make sure your results look correct to you because you will be updating users' custom fields based on these results. Finally, you'll want to create your user updater and then run it. So let's take a closer look at how to create your user updater now. From the Users tab in the right-hand sidebar, click User Updaters, then create a new user updater. Give your user updater a helpful name and description, and then choose the query report from the drop-down menu. If you don't see your report in that drop-down menu, you either already have a user updater created for this report, or the report you want doesn't have the updater report column. You also have to choose a staff user who will receive email updates about the user updater's success or failure, and this can give you some peace of mind knowing that everything is running as expected, and it'll also let you know if anything needs to be fixed. Finally, you can click Save and Run Now to run the user updater right now, or you can schedule it to run on a weekly, daily, or monthly basis. You can also view the results of the last time this user updater ran, which will tell you what happened. Did the user updater run? Which custom user fields were updated? How many users were updated? And if something went wrong, you can click through to see the error and how to fix it. You can also see an abbreviated version of the results on the user updaters list screen. And this is going to show you the last run and whether it's scheduled or run manually, how many users were updated, and more. Now, user updaters are only used to update custom user fields. And since we recently added the user groups feature, they can also be added to uh, use to update user groups as well. So check out the feature spotlight on user groups if you haven't seen it yet. The link to the documentation and the feature spotlight video on user groups is in the description below. We've got a ton of how-to guides, tutorials, tips, and trainings available at blog.actionkit.com. For more about user updaters, check out our documentation. Link is gonna be in the description below. And you might also be interested in the Feature Spotlight video on user groups, which user updaters can use to add and remove users from. All of these links and more available in the description. Please be sure to check out our other Feature Spotlights. And until then, I will see you in support.